Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coffee Club. So, yes, good morning. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's a cold, cold day, okay? Even with heating on, it's, it's freezing. So, today we are going to be discussing Sun and Saturn in the ninth house. And what happens when Sun and Saturn are in the ninth house conjunct in your horoscope. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report. Include my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magavadik Astrology Academy. And I hope you guys have watched the Meeting Ketu movie. Uh, because both my versions are, wow, they're picking up. So it's a success, I would say. Yes. So anyway, let's start with our Sun Saturn conjunction in the ninth house. So when you have this conjunction, okay, the first thing that you will see, and I've seen this so many times, father definitely becomes a government servant. Father would either go into civil engineering, civil services, father would be involved in administration, even oil petroleum business, but always father uh, is very much involved with, you know, like government somehow, somewhere. I've seen people who do business, but then they have contracts with the government. At the same time, father would make a sacrifice. Father would make a big sacrifice for a guru, for a teacher. But in your particular case, you will meet your right teacher and guru late in life, beyond the age of 34. And you will at one point be rejected either by a priest or by a religious organization. You're going to be rejected like your. Why is this because of the karma that you rejected somebody in the past life? The other thing we also see with Sun and Saturn in the ninth house is that a person attains major responsibility major responsibility of children. Like, you know, when people say, well, when children were born, man, I just became old. This is really the case with this particular conjunction. Because you are pretty much taking care of your pitris and you have to work to take care of them. Like Sun Saturn in the ninth house will bring about pitris in your life, meaning your ancestors coming as your children. The other thing we also see with Sun and Saturn is that a person will always move away from their birth city after their birth of their children. They may not go to foreign lands. Okay, I don't think I've seen like every single person with this conjunction that I've given a reading to going to foreign lands. It's just they move out. So let's say if somebody is in, you know, uh, New Delhi, they may go Bangalore. They may go to Mumbai to work. It doesn't have to be like US, Canada or UK. Um, and especially when Sun and Saturn are conjunct, there would be major fights and karma with the elder sibling or father's brother. You have some karma to pay to father's brother. At the same time, especially when it comes to um, one's education, Education will somehow always be involved with mechanics. Learning something mechanical, even if somebody, let's say, becomes a doctor or dentist, they'll be very great, good car mechanics. They'll naturally have this talent of mechanically fixing things in life. Like, you know, I actually know, you know, um, certain people where they're in a completely different field. You know, they're like a consultant. But when it comes to any handy issue within the home, like plumbing issue, electrical issue, they fix it. I mean, they make me look bad, you know, as a man in the house. Because <laughs> I don't know, I, the only thing I know how to plug something in, and if it's not working, okay, get something new. <laughs> That's what I know. So, yeah, I mean, these people are naturally very handy. But one thing you will see is that their luck really rises in their mid-30s. 
from mid thirties, their life becomes stable. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Sun and Saturn in the ninth house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. If you want to know where your Saturn is placed on all your astrological details, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.